Hey, watch out, dog. I only take you girls outside. No, no, no. Don't take my puppy. Oh, yeah. Let's go outside. No. Hello, world. How's it going? I hope you guys are all doing great. So I'm here with Stephen Conroe. He has a really, really cool tank. And uh, we're going to show it to you. It's a brine shrimp tank. Really wild. Really cool. What are you guys looking at? You guys want to be on the video too? They're all just staring. Puppies. Alright, so here we got a 10 gallon of brine shrimp. So what do you got going on over here, Steven? So this is just literally salt water with brine shrimp that I um, use to feed my puffer fish. And I just let them do their thing. They reproduce on their own. Um, I haven't hatched any brine shrimp in, in months. So they are self-sustaining. I feed them um, about once a day or every other day of spirulina powder. I just drop a little bit in and, and that's it. They, they do their own thing. Now, what temperature are you keeping them at? Um, right now it's set to 78. I've played with 76 up to like 84. And it seems to be 78 works best for me. Very cool. And how long are you running this slide on here? Um, it runs about 20 hours a day, actually. Really? Um, mainly just to help try to keep algae going in the tank. But uh, I've tried, like, once again, I've, I've messed with it over time. And I tried six hours, eight hours. And I've even been on vacation where this thing stayed on for a week at a time. And it doesn't really seem to affect them too much either way. but So they don't really need to sleep. No, they just constantly swim. It's crazy. I love it. Love it. And, um, what's the other question? Oh, what's the salinity? Um, so this runs at the same as my saltwater tank. Um, it's 1.26. Okay. Or 0 0.26, sorry. You're so cool. Look at that. It's, I mean, it's a fun tank just to watch, too. Yeah, you can, it's nothing nice to look at it's not like you know escaped or anything but it's it's fun to watch them it's definitely like growing up with the sea monkeys you could probably escape it it'd be kind of cool I'll put some rocks in there and stuff yeah use some macro algae it's, just, it's, it's like one of those things i never thought of it's just always been a culture tank to me and it's like a big sea monkey tank yeah oops So yeah, pretty easy setup, huh? It's super easy. I just basically do water top offs because with the salt water, it does, the salt doesn't evaporate, just the water. So I don't really have to do salt changes. I just top it off with my uh, regular fish room water. Yeah, so you never actually do water changes, huh? You just keep topping it off. Yep. It's doing well. How long has this been running for? Um, about six months. Six months, nice. Very cool. All this algae was from when he actually had to light up here, so he's been switching it. I think it looks real cool with it on the side, though, because you can see it real well. And, like, I don't know if you'll be able to catch it, but you'll actually see them swim up to the glass, and they kind of rub against whatever algae's there, and they'll do it on the bottom, too, in the, like, the algae mold. They'll, like you said earlier, they'll dive down into it. Yeah, it's wild how they dive into that stuff. That's some beautiful algae mold. I love it. So many of them. It almost seems like some of these are hatched already. Or there's some real tiny ones in there. Yeah, they're super tiny. I mean, the ones you can probably see like that look tiny are probably still a week old. I can see some fresh ones. They're really tiny. Those are fresh ones. Like little specks. Yeah, all up in that light. They, they barely good. move. Yeah, look at that tiny one. 
But look at that one. Yeah, that's the like one of the fresh, fresh ones. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Real short clip for you guys, but really cool. Uh, maybe try it out if you guys need some brine shrimp. I know I would love to have a little pond. I've always wanted to do like a pond outside of that. Yeah, I think it'd be something to try, you know, this summer with summer tubbing. Yeah, for sure. The natural sunlight probably really get them to explode. Yeah, and that rain's just like RO, so it'd be doing your top offs for you and everything. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. And uh, check out Stephen Conroe's channel. I'll link it in the description and, well, I'll just link it in the description. <laughs> I always say I'll put it in the comments, but I don't always do that. So, uh, let's be real here. But I hope you guys like. Till next time, everybody. Peace. Have a great one. See you guys.